dimensions. On the first dimension, we move forwards or backwards. On the second dimension, we can move forwards, backwards, left and right. On the third dimension, we have the ability to now look upwards. X studied the universe and X studied dimensions. He was also public about his own knowledge and what he was studying in his free time, such as in jail, different books he would read, and the advice that he would give to his fans. I have looked over everything that X has said about dimensions, and this is what I found. There are many interviews where X speaks about dimensions and speaks about the universe, but the things that really point out to me are covered here. When X begins speaking in interviews, he fluidly talks, talking like he knows what he's talking about. That presents an image of X that we know. That presents an image that he is somebody who is intelligent in the field that he is speaking of. His knowledge may be flawed, but to us, he is able to paint an image that we have not yet heard. He is able to paint something that brings us into esoteric knowledge and brings us into the true secrets of the universe. The way to get yourself up the pyramid scheme is to use your fucking brain, bro. The more creative or innovative you become, the more you study, the more time you take to really dwell into your mind rather than the world outside of your mind is more you unlock. He says the way to get out of the pyramid scheme, such as the matrix in life, is to use your brain, is to put your mind to what you want to put the mind to. In order to get yourself out of a situation that has hurt you, use your brain and think of positive ways in order to get out of that situation. Nothing is going to happen to you if you sit there all day and keep thinking and thinking and thinking. At some point, you must stop that thinking and actually start doing. And that is what X is saying here, that in order to get yourself to where you want to be, you have to use the brain to get there. And in order to get out of this rut that you may have in life, you have to properly apply your ways. Now, how would you do that? If you feel lost in life, find a direction. Now, find a direction by sitting yourself in a room and actually looking to where you want to be and what excites you. This may seem very hard at first, but once you do it, I promise you it gets a little bit easier. Furthermore, if you feel unathletic, if you feel fat, focus on different things that you can do as well as bringing your thoughts into that proper frequency in order to get yourself a little bit better. It starts with the thinking and it goes with the doing. He also talks about some of the crazy things we can do, such as photographic memory. So like the people who have phot photographic memory, like nobody realizes how much the, bra the brain is really fucking capable of. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Like you can do some real crazy Natural, shit, bro. Yeah, you can. You can do some real crazy fucking shit, bro. Like, all right, photographic memory. I don't have photographic memory, but somebody do. X did not have photographic memory, as he said in this interview, but other artists do have photographic memory, such as LeBron James, who has photographic memory and is able to use this to his advantage to reach top performance in his sport. We are accustomed to thinking that we are all the same, that things such as photographic memory are out of the ordinary, but people do have experiences like this and do have different experiences, such as clairvoyancy being one of them, being able to see in the past and see in the future and accurately describe such. Furthermore, people having near-death experiences and describing life as something out of the ordinary and describing different experiences that people experience on hallucinogens. These are just some of the examples to begin. We say that some of these are crazy, but in reality, they may just be an integrated part of a life that we do not understand just yet. The people that dream, you enter a whole different realm, mm -hmm. a whole different realm of thought. You get what I'm saying? So when you really think about it, when you, when you leave the, when you leave this realm of thought, where do you go? He says we enter a new reality of thought, a new way of thinking. And this is interesting to think about, that when we dream, we really are still alive. We still experience different things. In your dreams, you can still experience pain. You can still experience heartbreak. You can still ex experience joy in different situations. And what does this say about our dreams? Do we ever sit down and think about our dreams? Do we ever journal down our dreams and really think about what they mean? They may be so saying something way deeper than the surface and way deeper than what modern science does know. But X did not fully expand on such and that stops right there. Talking about the dimensions now, really going into the true nature of dimensions. X never gave a full concrete example of what the dimensions were, but he did overall outline them for us very nicely here. When you dream, where are you? So that's the dimensions. That's the difference between this realm and others. Mm -hmm. Now there's different realms. There's at least nine. And there's even animals that can see in all, uh, all nine. Um. This, we can do our own research. We can look into what the dimensions truly were. And to understand the true nature and complexity of the dimensions could offer us light and benefit in our own personal lives. Interrelating this with Billie Eilish, on March 29th, 2019, Billie Eilish dropped, When We Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? This interrelates with X because X was always curious into understanding where we go when we go to sleep, what the dimensions truly are, and who we are as people. This is a tribute to X, and I truly believe that Billy had to commemorate X and his true thinking throughout an album. You can evolve as a person, you can evolve as a mind, you know what I'm saying? You can evolve physically, or mentally, or spiritually. 
It just depends on what you want to meditate on. Now, the more you upgrade and evolve in your mind, bro, you won't even give a fuck about none of this shit, bro. And I'm trying to get to that point where I don't give a fuck about none of this shit, bro. I don't give a fuck about anybody, bro. And I mean it. Like, I'm trying to evolve past caring for any anyone. And I don't, and I say that in a non, like, non disrespectful way. Or selfish, yeah. I wanna be, I'm gonna be able to teach people that, and then I'm gonna be able to pull the few people out of this realm of slavery, you get what I'm saying? X wants to teach people how to get out of slavery. He wanted his fans to free their mind from the negating thoughts that they have on the daily in order to become true warriors of this earth. He wanted his fans to become enlightened individuals who wanted the best, who pushed themselves forward and had goals to achieve on the daily. X has also spoken that if you cannot align your karmic cycle, nothing matters. I believe in past lives and future lives. I believe in the karmic cycle. I believe you will re repeat this life until you get it right. Mm. I believe until you align the karmic cycle, nothing else matters. Now, what is the karmic cycle? The karmic cycle is a repetitive pattern in your life where you mirror your past traumas and your mistakes. To break your karmic cycle, you must interalign yourself with the true values of life. You must interalign yourself with doing the right thing at all times in your life. This may be something very hard to do, but this was something that X was striving to achieve, something that he wanted his fans to achieve as well. X was aiming to truly bring his fans out of darkness and into light, and to truly understand what the dimensions were. Although this was cut short, we are led a walkway into knowledge. We are led to believe that there is more out there for our own seekings and our own desires. If you're truly interested in this type of content, feel free to push that subscribe button and leave a like on this video as we'll be diving into such content as well as breaking down X's life, X's spiritual beliefs, and overall things that we do not know about this universe on this channel. Love you. Take care. Have a great day.